everyone it's Nami thanks for coming back to my channel I'm here to show you this holiday soft glam pink metallic cut crease with a red lip I also try it with a nude lip um, but I hope you like this tutorial okay so I already moisturized and I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha silk canvas primer look at that just the FU right there. Fallible light foundation. Um, this is really light and it's glowy. Like, look. It runs. So it's pretty light coverage. Because most of the time I can see my skin through it. Like, you'll probably be able to see that pimple through it. This summer, I didn't go out at all. So I'm very pale. I'm probably the palest I've ever been in my whole life. Like in high school, I could not stop tanning. And ooh, before I got sick, I would be in the sun more. But now, being in the sun gives me episodes. And I'll probably talk about that later when I feel more comfortable about my illness. Um, but the name of it is Cyclic Vomiting Syndrome. You can Google it for now, I guess. <sighs> but see, it's like very light. Going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light. But they say this one is also comparable to um, the NARS Creamy Concealer. And I like how it covers, but it's not super thick. Because there are some that I've tried and it's, I don't know, I guess because I don't like my makeup <laughs> too cakey. Oh, here I go putting on all this concealer. But my under eyes also crease, so I feel like this one does a good job for being super inexpensive. Mm, my laugh lines. I'll tell you one day, I am getting Botox. Like, I try not to smile. I already have a RBF resting bitch face. But now I'm getting the smile line. And where you conceal or highlight, it's just making those areas pop and brighter. Our under eye pretty much set our whole face. We're gonna do our brows. So I did one and I figure I would just do the other one on camera. So I'm just going under and underlining, underlining, outlining the underneath. I did post a video on how I do my brows. I guess kind of. The mic, actually, let me try. The mic, okay, it's on. The mic was not on. The entire time I was trimming my brows and tweezing them. Yeah, that was a sad day. But I did upload a video on basically how I fill them in, I guess. Kind of like I'm doing now. But once they grow out again, I'll do another video. And then I just draw the underneath. I draw on the tail. And 
just spoolie it. See what color is the one I have? Dark brown. This does come on pretty dark. Um, it almost looks black. Um, even if you have black hair, you should never use black on your eyebrows because it's too dark. But I mean, it looks black to me. Well, I guess it looks dark brown when you get up close. Then I like to just bring it, almost like stamping little hairs up. Honestly, I feel like I could like sit and work on my brows all day. Literally, I have to like pull myself away before I draw on like thick caterpillar brows from adding so much. Look how small it is. Pencil. I feel like it gives me a more precise line when I'm trying to clean up the end. Comb the front hairs up so you can really see the hairs. No double eyelid this is where it starts you basically have to create dimensions with different colors to really make it look like there's a crease which can be done it just takes a while that's what's hard I feel like I could sit here and blend all day until I'm like actually really happy with how it looks but I feel like this just brings some, and you can bring it to your nose. Well, I do because I also don't really have a nose bridge, so it, it can start as a nose contour. And a little something on the eye. And it doesn't look as flat and white. I should probably bake. Because I did put down concealer and all that, so we don't want to mess up our foundation. And for me, I really don't like doing my foundation after I do my eyes. Another weird thing. I definitely like to do the skin first. And putting powder down is a good idea because it will catch any fallout, any loose powder, any oops. I guess I'll just let my face bake a little bit. Like the outer V. Just going back and forth like little circles can't believe it's already Thanksgiving next week like Thanksgiving is this the first time Thanksgiving is like at the end of the month 
or because there's usually like another week and then it's Thanksgiving but this year it's at the end of the month or the last week of November this year I'm making a turkey uh -huh. I'm making stuffing I kind of want to make some collard greens, but we'll see how much work I want to do. I'm going to make homemade stuffing, green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, well, yams, candied yams. My candied yams are bomb. We're back in with the transition color just going on top. And then we're just gonna stamp it. Should do a poll. How many people hold a mirror and do their makeup and how many people have to like sit in front of a makeup? Cause to me, I can't like sit in front of a mirror, makeup or mirror and do makeup. I have to have like a handheld mirror. But then when people look at me, they're like, "How do you hold a mirror and do it?" I'm like what? It's so easy. I feel like it's so much easier because I can see closer. Just want to slowly blend. So I'm going to go in with a little fluffy brush and now start on the darker part of the eye. Kind of dragging it out into like a little V. I'm gonna go back with that pink magenta red color. Now it's all about just adding the colors and blending them out. Align the actual cut crease of a paintbrush. I just realized I wasn't filming again. So I was just saying, I was just taking the gold glitter shadow and pressing that with my finger. Um, just because sometimes these shadows don't work as well with a brush, even if it's synthetic. I don't know if it's like the heat of your finger or what. See how much bigger this one was compared to that. Before. Lashes are on. clean everything up. I remember like back in the day, me and my friends like literally being tan was like the only thing, not even contour, it's just bronzing your whole face and using bronzer all over it. 
do need to cut this double chin. I have a big ass forehead, so I do like to add a little, I know. It's like a pink iridescent. You know what, I might just put this on my whole lid right here. Cause it's so pretty. Oh yeah, that's, we're gonna keep that. Super cute. So we're gonna go in with a nude. This one. Yeah, I think this is the grossest thing. When you have dry skin or anything in the corner of your mouth, clean it up, okay? I apologize. Like very light. All right, guys, we put on a nude lip. Let me go ahead and take this off and then I will try it with a red lip. We're just gonna take a red lipstick Tried and true, Ruby Woo. Oh, so many memories and this smells so good. But this is a very, very matte lipstick. So if you're wearing this out, you should really moisturize your lips. Now this is a very matte red. So if your lips is chap, all that is gonna show. This is such a classic red though. Also has blue undertone, so it makes your teeth look really white. Whereas some reds tend to make your teeth look orange. This is actually very comfortable on the lips. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.